hope you've been having a good time. We're here to talk to you about Five Over Seven, which is our online creative project. And my name is Isabel. I'm Ashley. And I'm Tara. I'm going to start us off with a little audience participation. So on the next slide, you're going to see a word. I want everyone to think about the first thing that comes to mind when you see music. So everyone, get that word in your head, and let's all shout it out on the count of three. One, two, three. So, as creators, we clearly have different interpretations of what music means to us. And our project relies a lot on those different interpretations, which Ashley will start speaking about. Okay, so these are some of the different results we came up with when we heard music. A lot of them are very literal and very close to the actual words, such as genres or bands like pop, metal, Mozart, the Beatles. Others are very obscure and unusual, like drugs, club scene, and band camp. So anyway, we started 5 over 7 as a way to keep ourselves intellectually stimulated and always thinking and super creative. So what we do is we post five creative things over seven days, and these five things are all tied to a theme that we pull at random. So it's a lot like the exercise we just did, like we just kind of interpret things in different ways and see where it goes. Okay, so this is just a screenshot of our archive, so you can see a few of the different themes and different interpretations, and then all of our artists apply those in different interpretations over different media. So we have poems and posters and photography, so some of the ones that are up there are fall, so you can like see some on falling and some people talking about fall. Sorry. Uh, so this is an example of something we did for theme number eight, which was circles, and they're pretty different. As you can see, Ashley on the left used circles as a decorative motif, whereas I on the right used circles as part of kind of an infographic to explain an idea, and that idea is how cold it is in Canada most of the time. So this is from theme four, which was scissors. On the left, you'll see Tara's post, which was very conventional. It was a photo collage of scissors and flowers, where on the right, Isabel used liquid eyeliner to make her hands into scissors. <laughs> Okay, so this theme was neon, so we also don't just have graphic designers on there, we have creative writers. So you can see on the left, one of our contributors did a short creative writing piece about the feeling of neon, which was our theme for week 10. And on the right, uh, Isabel did do a graphic design poster that was more about the colors of neon. Yes. So going with the theme of tonight, design, think, passion, we came up with the concept that we would treat this like five over seven and we would each come up with a post for design, think, and passion. So we're gonna present to you our nine slides that we came up with for tonight. Uh, so for design, I want to emphasize how design is as much about the process as it is about the final results. So I kind of showed what it might look like if you were designing a typeface. So on the left you've got rough sketches and they get more and more detailed as they go through the process. And on, on the right you've got the finished product. For think, for think, <laughs> um, I decided to chart my thoughts as a flow chart and this is what kind of I imagine is going on in my head when I'm trying to decide whether or not to wake up. And it's got really important, realistic things like whether or not I need to pee and whether or not I'm late for something. And I built in the really important thing that I usually end up going back to sleep anyway, no matter what. Uh, this one's kind of weird. Um, this was for passion. And at, while I was doing my research on this, I found out that the passion fruit and the passion flower are so called because of the passion of the Christ. And I'm not religious at all, but I thought that was really interesting. So I kind of did the like Jesus in a grilled cheese thing and put it in the passion fruit, but I don't I don't know if you can see that, but it's it's hiding. Okay. All right, so this is my post for design. I made a photo collage out of all the things I've reblogged on my Tumblr. These are things that have inspired me, and I personally feel that design isn't just design; it's actually inspiration for other designers because we use other people's work to create our own. And this is my post for Think. I used a Dr. Seuss quote, and there's already been one tonight, so. And the concept was that I would take the first things that popped into my head that I thought about and create a post of them. So I included ribbon, the font homestead, and a lot of paper textures. And this is for passion. Uh, these are all the things in my life that I am passionate about and that inspire me. I have taken all of them with Instagram. They can be things from my cat, my friend's pets, 
my bed, just my everyday commute, things that I'm passionate about because I see them and use them all the time. Okay, so for my piece about design, I wanted to talk about how when you're a designer as a career, it completely like fucks up your head and how you view things. So I took a normal photo, and this is how we all look at it. We're like, oh, I wonder what Pantone number that yellow stripe is, and how am I going to crop this, and how is it going to print, and what colors did I use, and do I have registration marks? And then this is my piece for Think. I wanted to sort of visualize what I think it would look like if we could see people as they're thinking. So I took an old photo, that's me my name of my third grade class when you start to like really critically think and sort of illustrated different kids in the class thinking and I'm an egotist so I was obviously thinking and then this is my piece for passion and I want to explore how passion can sometimes lead into obsession as we all know and this is actually a photo of my first year of college's dorm room wall where I had this monstrous collage of good design and I looked like a unibomber and then I reel it back in a little bit so that was my post. Okay so now that you've seen what we're all about and the way the three of us think we'd like to see how you guys think so consider this your official invitation to join in. Uh, we'll be handing out these little envelopes whenever everybody's done speaking. Feel free to come up and it's got all our contact info. And for everyone that doesn't believe that we actually pull a theme at random, we're going to do it right now. So usually this happens Sunday nights, but you guys are really special and you're going to get a head start. So this one will be in effect starting Monday. Okay, so next week's theme is black and white. So everyone, get what you want to do in your head and post to our Tumblr. We'd love to see what you think. Thank you so much.